To start this tutorial, you should have already transferred to your computer all of the footage for your news story. In this case, I have a folder in my Movies folder called News Volleyball. You should also have a project folder in your Google Drive folder. And within that project folder, you should have started an Adobe Premiere project. If you're not sure how to transfer footage to your computer or to set up a Premiere project, refer to the basic video editing tutorial handout. You should have also read the Connecting the SOTS handout. SOTS is an abbreviation for Sound on Tape. The term SOTS and the term Sound Bites refer to the same thing, parts of a news story when someone other than the reporter is talking. Sound Bites is the term that will be used throughout this tutorial. In this news project example, there is one folder called a bin that contains both interviews and b-roll footage. It's for a story about a volleyball game. Your project may have multiple bins, especially if you shot footage on multiple days. Hold the Option key on your keyboard as you double-click your first footage bin. This will open it so you can see all of the footage inside. Find your first interview and double-click it. This will open it up in the preview window. Go ahead and get to the beginning of it and play it. Uh, how long have you been practicing playing volleyball for James Logan? Now remember you have some background questions and some topic questions. You want to go ahead and skip your background questions for now. You're going to use that information later. So go to your first topic question and play back the answer. Playing volleyball for four years. Is your team excited for tonight's game? Oh, definitely. We are really pumped. Um, this is the end. This is, we are drawing to the end of the season, and we're going out with the. Okay, so look through that first answer. Go back to the beginning of it. Game. You want to stop just at the end of the question, just before the answer, and then press the I key on your keyboard. This will set an endpoint. Now play through to the end of the answer. Oh, definitely. We are really pumped. Um, this is the end. This is, we are drawing to the end of the season, and we're going out with a bang. One month TV. Okay. So, when you get to the end of it, go ahead and press the O key to set an out point. With your in and out point selected, go ahead and click in the picture and drag it down to your timeline. If you get the clip mismatch warning, go ahead and click change sequence settings. Go back to the preview window and play the answer to the next question. What motivates you to keep playing volleyball? Remember I stop at the end of the question, press the I key for the in. The game itself. Press the O key. Now this is kind of a short one. I may still use that so I'll drag it down to the timeline. Let me go back up there to the preview window. So what are your team's goals for this year? So at the end of the question I'll press the I key to get a new endpoint. Our goal this year is to make it through NCS. And I'll press the O key and I'll click and drag it down to the timeline. Repeat this process until you have reviewed all of the topic question answers in your first interview and have added answers to your timeline that may help tell your story. Then go ahead and select the next interview. Double click it so it'll show in the preview window. Follow the same procedure to find answers that can help tell your story and add them to your timeline. Repeat the process for all of your interviews. If you have more than one footage bin, make sure you go through all the interviews in all of your footage bins. And when you have finished, save your project and move on to the next tutorial.